day three of me being admitted to the hospital, they found inflammation and the colitis in my stomach area. And I was also, also having chest pains and, and just coughing up blood. So they're just doing tests, running, trying to figure out what's going on. This is nothing new to me, you know. I've had this feeling, sensations many times before. Um, it's not pleasant, it's painful. Annoying, irritating, annoying. but this is, I guess, the only way to get better. Um, but I've been doing so good. I've been progressing. You know, I, I, I've been thinking to myself, to my studies, and just working out, eating healthy, and you know, for five, like five months, I didn't, I wasn't admitted to the hospital. You know, prior to that, I kept for like two years straight. Every month, I was admitted. For, for one time, I spent like almost two months there or here. And it's just, it's a hell of a blow. But now, from the research I've been doing and just educating myself, I know that I can continue doing my workouts and continue doing the little stuff that I do, even in this confined room, you know? I mean, you have to. I mean, you, you just have to move. You're getting pumped full of narcotics and, you know what I'm saying, just Dilaudid and, you know, Finnegan for nausea. So, like, I don't have the, the, the stuff that I need, but you find it. In some kind of way, you find it. So right there, I have my son. That's where I sunbathe. It's not, not much of a view, so I'm not going to get up. <laughs> and right there is where I work out. I do my little ab workouts. And, and, and in the bathroom, there's a pull-up bar for the curtains. I use that as a pull-up bar. You just have have to make it work. You can't you can't lay down, man. I've been through way too much of my life to, to to turn back now, and I've I've progressed a long way. So I just wanna to make a quick video. You know, I really didn't feel like making this, but hopefully this gives inspiration to somebody that's down to get up. Get up. Mm -hmm.